good morning everyone and happy january Ugh, it is such a gorgeous day outside the sun is shining and in some shades spots you can still see snow but it's mostly melted um so anyways today is prep slash prepare for wisdom teeth extraction day and let me tell you i am so anxious but at the same time like really nervous but i'm i'm definitely just ready for it to be over um because for the past four weeks i'd say probably four weeks actually so past month um i have been in a lot of pain in my jaw and lots of headaches to where i just i mean i still am having extreme headaches i believe me i am in a lot of pain right now and i do the absolute best i can to just ignore it or not let it affect my life basically but believe me it hurts my jaw and my head right now um so anyways being the prep and prepare today that mainly okay so it pretty much consists on stocking up on all the soups and trying to plan out my outfits for probably the next three days um because i've heard so many different horror stories on um basically what it's going to be like being on the mend so i'm definitely so i'm curious on what it's going to be like to be on the mend um so i need so i definitely want to kind of plan out what my outfit's going to be for what days basically which is pretty much going to be what cozies am i going to wear on what day um and yeah i think that's all i'm really worried about is I want to be comfortable and I want to make sure I have a plan on what I'm going to eat for the next few days because I think they said um, pretty much no chewing um, or don't chew much and no straws, very light chewing if any chewing at all, um, soups called soups, ice cream I think they said ice cream and honestly i'm not a huge fan of ice cream believe it or not i do like it i'm just not a huge fan of it okay it's really sunny you guys i think i'm going to need to get my shades out because it's a little bit bright for me honestly um and i'm pretty sure i've mentioned where i got these shades from but just in case those of you who do have not heard these i got from karen walker uh years ago so these are old i I'm pretty sure these are discontinued um, but I will try to see if I can find them and put a link in the description box below so oh it's so pretty outside guys I would love to show you <laughs> it's really pretty so very lovely uh, but anyways um Right now I am on my way to the store to see if I can find some soft snacks and um, maybe a couple of soups, pre-made soups, but I'm going to try to find some healthy pre-made soups, not the really, really p processed soups. So, And I think there is um, a couple other things I need to grab at the store, but my main reason of going out is to get stuff for the coming week. Goodness, guys, I see a deer. Oh, it's so cute. Wow, I love seeing deer on the drive. That one was actually pretty big. It was a doe. Normally, when I'm driving around and I see a deer, there's usually like a good group of them. I don't know if you call them a pack or not, but there is a group of deer with lot. I think there was like two, maybe three babies and like two moms and two bucks and my children saw them as well we were on our way to school and when we drove by them they were just like 
like we were at a zoo they were so amazed and just pointed at them so excited to see them so it was a really cute sight I, I definitely liked that they got to see that so hi guys so I'm actually using the mirror um at the store because why not it's actually a full-size mirror but I thought I'd go on here real quickly and share with you my outfits for the day it is the Holland and Cooper jumper today with the ultra light casimir long sleeve under it to help keep me warm because it's really nippy outside the fab leather leggings and my usual ugg boots and then i've got my today i'm using the louis vuitton portrait matisse my absolute favorite go-to bag so time to get going on shopping and see what soft foods i can find for next week so let's go Alright guys, so I grabbed a couple of these. These I know are so delicious and um, really good for you. So definitely excited to use those. This is the blueberry acai flavor. They have like three other flavors, but I know this is my favorite and you hardly, you hardly have to chew with these. So they will be good. I know those will be good to use. So grabbed two boxes of those you get four in one box so i figured this would be plenty for a couple days mm, chocolates now obviously i am not shopping for me i am actually trying to find the chocolate bars we use i use to make my husband's favorite chocolate dessert valentine's day is coming up so i want to try to get ahead make sure i have all the ingredients to make it i think i use 70 but i thought i use i thought there was such thing as a 65 maybe not uh let's see i'll go ahead and do this so what one two need four of these yes four of these there we, there we go that fits better so I've got the basita, so we've got the chocolates, got the Mama Chia organic squeezes. Now to see what else I can find. Alright, so here we are in the soups. So let's get some soups. Um definitely going to grab some oh no, yes, going to grab some chicken broth. I get two of these and then let's see <clears throat> beef broth chicken broth let's see no salt added be stock hmm let's see if I can find some pre-made soups but oh Nope. Alright guys, that's it. That is all the soups they have. Okay, let's see what else I can find. Chunky. Mm. Oh, mashed potatoes. I honestly guys, I do not like mashed potatoes, but I will give I think one of these a try. Let's see. Let's have to try these. Baby red mashed potatoes. I guess I can maybe give these a try. I don't know. I don't like processed stuff. I'd rather have fresh. I don't think I'd do it, guys. I don't. I just don't think I can. I just wish I knew how much energy I'm gonna have after the surgery. That would help a lot. Let's see. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, found the ice cream. Doctor said, get some ice cream. I think I will. Question is, which one am I going to get? A vanilla bean, cookies and cream, peanut butter. I think I'm going to get the vanilla bean. Oh, and they have, whoops, 
I want to get one of those. And then also they've got the Berry Bliss Acai Balls. I'm definitely going to give this a try. That is going to be so delicious, I think. Hi guys, so hopefully you can see me well. It's still really sunny outside. So I just got it done at the store and um, I got a couple things but I did not get as much as I was hoping to get. But luckily there are some um, restaurants here that in town that do have some soups and I'm getting ready to head to one of them to try some of the soups, do a little bit of sampling and then um, see if I can get some ordered for a takeaway and freeze those or put them in the fridge and get them ready. Hopefully they do have some. And then there's another joint I will stop by this evening um, and see if they have any as well. So um, I knew I was going to order some takeaways uh, today. Uh, I just wanted definitely, I just wanted to stop by the store and see if there's anything already done that I could take home. But um, like I said, there was not much there soft food wise that I feel like I could handle. But I got the um, the squeezes. I've got some chicken broth and the acai balls. So I didn't come. I'm not coming home empty-handed, but. Yes, so um, real quickly before I head to that restaurant, I want to show you. So I've seen uh, some people put scented stuff in their cars, like hanging on the windows and stuff. And I personally don't like those because I think they're way too strong and I've never found one that I actually like the scent. So I went to... Um, where, which store did I get it from? I don't remember which store I got it from, but anyways, um, I think basically you can find these and any Joe Malone departments in any store, but I got the mini, um, hopefully you can see this, oh, it's so bright, there we go, yay! So I got the Joe Malone Peony Blush um, mini candle. And I don't know why this tape on top of here. But anyways, um, I love the smell so much. Like I said, I have the body cream, the lotion, the uh, perfume. Um, and then I'm going to get, to get the bath set, if there is one. I think they do have a body wash, but I will double check on the website. But anyways, I want to get the mini candle and put it in the car. So I just put it up here. And it my car smells amazing. And I, the candle is really pretty as well. So I love having that. I thought that was an absolute brilliant idea. And my kid, my, my children also love the smell. So it's beautiful, it smells good, and it doesn't dangle on your um, mirror thingy that some people put their scented things on. So I want to share with you that real quickly because I, to me, I think that is a cute little kind of hack. Use a candle instead of the scented honey bulbs or whatever you can find um because that just works for me so i'm really happy about that so um anyways i need to get moving and head to that restaurant luckily it's not far from here and hopefully they have some soups i like because i so i like to cook believe me i do like to cook um but the one food I do not like to make is soup. I don't like to make soup. It's to me, it might be the easiest thing to make and I'm just being stupid about it or too hard headed about it, but I don't like making soup. And it just, to me, it's too frustrating. So I would rather go do a takeaway from a restaurant, get soup there, or a pre-made one from a store, than try to make it myself so um that's just me like I said I might be hot headed but that's just how I work so all right let's get moving and head to that restaurant good morning everyone and I apologize that I didn't get to film much yesterday it's actually the next day and I just got done with my shower um, so yesterday after I picked up the soups, everything just got really, really busy. Um, 
like, let's see, I grabbed the soups, came home, children were like very tired. I think they were just mainly tired, but they were very tired and irritable. And so I had to put my complete attention on them and help my husband as well. He wasn't feeling too well. And so I just need to full blown out the, uh, what he would call me super mum and how about with the kids and him then all the, then all of a sudden we had dinner coming up and a little bit of reading time and then it was bedtime so there basically the rest of the day just ended up being a full out busy day so i just didn't have time to get the camera out and do some more vlogging but i decided to just go ahead and pick it up and finish off here for today um so like I said, it is the next day. I just got done with my shower and I'm wearing right now my Madewell uh, just plain lawn sleeve. I think this is an olive color. And it's got my, I can't remember, Fila. Yes, Fila black pants on. I'm going to put on this snuggly robe. This is an old intimacy robe. I will show you that in just a minute. Um, but I thought I would go on here really quickly and share with you my shampoo and conditioner that I do use for my hair. Um, I, like many other people, I am a user of the Function of Beauty products. So I, this is my conditioners and then this is my shampoo. Um, and I did put a couple stickers. When you order uh, bottles from the company, you do receive some really cute stickers. So they're really nice and cute. I use the eucalyptus um, smell and uh, pick the color green. But I think my next order, I'm going to order the dye-free white. I think that's going to be better. And then I'm going to do a light amount of eucalyptus. This is actually really strong. I used the, I selected the heavy amount of eucalyptus. And it's nice, but I think it's a bit overpowering for me. So I'm going to adjust my next order. Um, but yes, I am a user of Function of Beauty, and I do recommend that, guys. Really great company. Customize what you need, what's best for your hair, and I'd say it looks, it works a really good job. So, um, I have not put on makeup or done anything yet. I just got dressed, and my hair is still up in my towel. Um, I will do my makeup in a minute, and... Actually, no, I think I'm not going to. I'm going to put on a moisturizer, but I'm not going to put on makeup. So, tomorrow morning, first thing is my wisdom tooth extraction day, which I am honestly, I am a bit anxious for that, but I am also honestly a little bit nervous. So, um, it definitely will be interesting. And so, I am going to... I wanted to make sure I got my shower in today so that way I was clean and ready for that for the next couple of days because I have no idea how I'm going to feel after. Um, but I am going to um, share with you, I am going to try to lay out and maybe plan my outfits for the next few days. Mostly cozies obviously because I want to be as comfortable as possible. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Sadly I did not get much soup. I got a couple from this one restaurant and I was going to grab a couple more from another restaurant but they didn't have any so I was like uh oh so but I did manage to grab a couple other soft foods uh, from the store and I'm gonna go to st another store again today to grab some more um, but I should be all ready have my outfits ready have the food ready and my cozies and all that and I'm trying to decide if I want to just go ahead and wear my slippers to the appointment or if I should just wear my Ugg boots. So that will be the decision I'm working on. Um, and then I thought I'd go and show with you my moisturizer I'm going to use. I'm going to use my Clear to Poe. Let's see if it'll focus. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. 
So I am going to use my Clear to Perla Creme today as my face moisturizer. It does a really good job. It smells amazing, guys. And you don't need to use much, just a small amount, and it covers your face nicely. So definitely love this cream. Uh, guys, I really recommend this cream. It's so nice. But yeah, so I'm um, going to get my robe on and see I don't have too much to do today, but just a little bit. But anyways, um, yeah, so I will in a minute uh, show you guys um, some possibility outfit ideas, I guess, cozy outfits ideas, um, if I can find any. And if not, then... This, I will say, will be the end of this vlog, and I will see you guys after my search, my um, surgery or procedure, whatever you would call it, um, because I did uh, choose the method that I do want knocked out. I do not want to feel anything, I don't want to hear anything or know what's going on, so I selected that. And yeah, so I will see you guys after that, and hope it goes smoothly. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you later.